Hello! And welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to stay in the UK and travel back in time to one of the old boxed menus. Now these are a 24 hour menu. This particular one is the menu one from 2016. So it's coming up to six years old. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. And so, as you can see, and now I've here on the table, this older British Army 24 hour ration pack. Uh, these are the older boxed versions, the ones I actually prefer think were better than the newer brown bag. They usually contain a lot of food for 24 hours. This particular one is the menu one with a production date of November 2016. So a little bit over its recommended best before date, but it should still be perfectly fine. I've eaten these 12, 13, 15 years old and they've still been fine. Um, so standard cardboard box. You need a little friend just to help with the sticky tape. So just cross it along the top there and along the back. Just getting a little rattle in the background from one of my dishes. I'm just going to move that on my table. I have this table all stocked ready to go for filming. So, nice impressive set of contents. And straight off, the, let's move to one side. Straight off the bat, we have the now familiar Ziploc bag with the British accessories in there, including the huge great spork. But we'll have a closer look at that at the when we start eating, so I'll just put that to one side for now. So a nice large accessory pack there. We also have a raspberry drinks powder, beverage powder. We have a tutti frutti drinks powder. We have a tropical flavored drinks powder. Lots of drinks, lots of drinks. There is a hot chocolate drink. This particular one is the mint flavoured chocolate. Let's keep on going. We have an orange energy drinks powder. So lots of drinks powders, lots of ways of keeping hydrated. They have the TP or tissues, whichever the first need arises. We have some smooth peanut butter. Here's the older style oatmeal block. Some roasted and salted peanuts from Beyond the Beaten Track. A lot of this is Beyond the Beaten Track. We have a natural muesli with milk. There is a fruit explosion. Looks like it's a little bit squashed. Um, this particular one is the orange cap so it is apple and peach the orange cap there we have a rather soft and sorry looking sesame bar i think that might have compromised it looks like it might have melted at some stage and um, it's been in my possession for quite a few years they are stored well but sometimes these things happen we have some mango cake down to the mains we have some plain rice we have a chickpea curry with onion and potato so chickpea curry and rice there is also a bean and pasta salad uh, butter beans and kidney beans in pasta we have a hot diggity dog hot sauce. We're running out of space here. And we have a cheddar cheese cheese spread. Let's put that to one side there. I only just fit it all on my table. We also have a list of the contents for each individual menu for the whole menu pack up to menu 10. 
and a survey for the troops to give feedback and possibly win a prize on what they thought about the ration. So this is the entire contents of this slightly vintage British Army 24 hour pack. So let's come back with what I would consider breakfast laid out on a tray in just a couple of moments. So bye for now. And so as you can see, I now have here laid out on the tray what I would consider breakfast from this British Army 24 hour ration. And obviously breakfast we're looking at the muesli with milk. I'm also going to have a look at the orange drink because again a drink of orange is always good in the morning. Um, a little bit of fruit to go with that. The apple and peach fruit explosion. I also have the oatmeal block and some smooth peanut butter just to go on the oatmeal block there. And before we go any further, we need to have a look at the huge accessory pack. So, anyone familiar now with um, ration reviews would actually be, know pretty much what's in these. These accessory packs are always pretty standard. You get the huge soup spoon stroke spork, which we will be needing. We also have two impressive antibacterial wipes I'll just put there for a moment we have two varieties of tea we have a Thai food tea and an English breakfast tea so two varieties of teas it's all spilling out there very difficult to get them out we also have two varieties of coffee we have a Rombouts coffee and a more familiar Nescafe so two teas, two coffees we have one, two, three, four whiteners. Makes sense, one for each of the teas and coffees. So four beyond the beaten track whiteners or creamers. There is also, likewise, one, two, three, four white sugars. Again, four hot drinks or sugars. We have three packets of v6 dental gum so there is obviously lunch breakfast lunch and dinner and last but not least the customary water sterilizing tablets enough for six liters and the windproof waterproof matches so for this particular menu i'm not going to need all of the mints i'll just put the things back which i don't think i'll need i think for breakfast i'm going to go with a breakfast tea so, a breakfast tea, creamer, sugar, everything else could just go back in the packet for lunch and dinner meals. Put that to one side there. So, coming back to the meal, we need to do the things that need a little bit of preparation. And obviously the first thing is the tea. So we have an English breakfast tea, very simplistic fag. Now I've had many, many of these before. They've been in the British ORPs for what seems like ever, but we shall go with them again for the viewers that have not seen these before. I do forget that sometimes I have new subscribers which might not have seen these. We have a Beyond the Beaten Track Creamer or Whitener. Now these are often the things that suffer first in a vintage, slightly vintage ration, but in this case that is still good, still good condition there. And of course, sugar, have it straight off as I like it, white with sugar. Now I do find the spork is a little bit big for these, so I use the handle for actually agitating the tea. And I'll just give that a little bit of a move around. And then we'll just leave it a few seconds, a couple of minutes, for it to do its thing. The next thing which is going to need a little bit of preparation is the fruit flavoured energy drink. This particular one is the orange flavour. Um, best before 06 2020. As I said, they are a vintage. This is a slightly vintage ration, but I have no fear of those best before dates. That's exactly what they are, best before, not eat by. So... The powder there, still in good condition. This being the energy drink, instantly you can see 
Instantly you can see, I don't know if it will pick it up, but you see sugar granules in there, no sweetness, it's just sugar, energy drink, troops need energy. Sugar's not a problem, but it does mean it'll give it a little bit more stirring to get it to dissolve. And it is for a 500ml mug, so it's going to be a little bit sweet, this is about 380 roundabouts. So it'll be a little bit sweet. I probably shouldn't put it all in. We'll be buzzing with all that sugar. But a good mix. Okay, so the next thing that's going to need a little bit of preparation is the natural muesli with milk. So, again, I don't think I'm going to be able to open that, so I shall bring in my little friend just to take the top off. Don't seem to have got it. Ooh, let's give that another slice. I think I've just missed it. And bring in my bowl just for demonstration. So, very simplistic looking muesli there. So, very simplistic looking muesli. Some oats and what looks like sunflower seeds. So, we'll just I do like my muesli slightly on the warm side, so I'm going to give it a little bit of warm water first because that should just soften those grains. But likewise, that is boiling water, so it will need a little bit of cold also. Good old mix. Get those milk powders mixed in and the seeds hydrated there. Okay. I'm also going to take the top off the fruit explosion. As I said, this one is apple and peach, designated by the orange coloured top there. Some smooth peanut butter. Always give these a knead, like the cheese, they do tend to separate, the oils can separate, so special length for time, a good kneading. Just hopefully avoids that oil rushing out. It does actually tell you on the package, knead package before opening, it is there as an instruction. And last but not least, the oatmeal block. Now these seem to be getting pretty rare now. I've not seen them in the more recent ones, along with the biscuits brown that used to be there. So these are becoming a bit of a rarity. So a little oatmeal block there. Well, I did say last but not least, but I have got the dental gum. I can't quite see which one this is. Strong mint. There is more writing. My eyes are getting poorer. But there is two briquettes. Dental gum designed to clean your teeth as well as freshen your breath. So there is two, if I can get them to come out. We should just get the one out for now, but there is a second one in there. So, just clean off that spoon a little bit. And the tea should have now had enough time to do what it needs to do. Drop that in the bin there. So, let's start where I normally like to start. I've spilled tea all over the table. So this is the English breakfast tea. It's a dark looking tea. It's plenty of strength there. But when you drink it, it's a very basic. I wouldn't say cheap. It's the sort of middle of the road. It's not the most expensive, but also... If you're a tea drinker, you'll recognise it's not the cheapest, it's not the most expensive. It's a middle of the road, not the best quality, but it is a decent, hot, drinkable tea. Now, let's have a look at the energy drink, the sugar-rich energy drink. There's a little film of sugar floating on the top there. Mm -hmm. Quite a citrus kick. But very sweet with all that sugar. 
it is very artificial, very chemicalised. Um, out of all the British ORPs, I do find the orange is the least attractive. All of them obviously have artificial flavours, but this to me is the most obvious chemical. But it is a cold, refreshing, flavoursome drink. Just don't expect fresh orange juice, because it certainly is not. But still, a nice, refreshing, cold drink. If you had dirty water in a canteen with a stereo tab, that's just what you need to take away that little bit of dirt flavour. So, the muesli. Straight into the muesli. We have simple looking oats with what I think is pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds. There we a little else there. So another taste. Mm -hmm. Still quite firm, those oats. They feel like they're, they probably are baked or uh, cooked, but they don't sort of feel like it. They're firm, they're chewy. There is sugar in there. The milk is flavoursome, creamy. For me, it's a very, very simple, basic muesli, not over inspiring. It is just a filling, quite hard to chew. But oats, as you know, are a very good energy, energy source. That would certainly give you the energy, just not the most inspiring in flavours, unfortunately. But certainly a hearty breakfast. Let's refresh my palate again. What I'm going to do is just clean that spoon. Now, the fruit shoot is just like pureed baby food. It's just little pureed fruit. Mm -hmm. Taste the apple, taste the peach. Certainly nothing wrong with it by age. Very natural tasting. I think this one is slightly sweetened. Sometimes you get them quite sour. This one's got quite a quite sweet. I'm going to actually add a little bit to the muesli. Let's see if I can give the muesli a bit of a pick me up. So I have a little bit of fruit flavour into the muesli. So I'll just try that there. Mm -hmm. For me, certainly a good way of using that I'm going to put more in there the muesli does need something in my opinion it needs a lift so I'm going to mix a load of that fruit flavour fresh fruit puree in there so now you've got fruit and muesli mm. much better in fact I'm going to add the majority now I have added the entire packet, usually the troops would just suck straight out of the top there, but that muesli certainly needed a lift. So, that now, that's all that fruit. Good mix. With that will be the extra sweetness. So it's mixed into a nice, soup, um, soupy looking muesli. But wow. Much more enhanced, much more flavoursome, certainly the way to go. Add the fruit explosion to the bland muesli. Excuse me, that muesli is quite difficult to chew, as I said. So have a look at this oat biscuit. Very simplistic looking cookie style biscuit. Cracks easily. Sweet, tasty, and make an excellent dunking biscuit to dunk into the tea. But it is just like an oatmeal sweet biscuit or cookie. You could, I'm sure, put some crumble it into your muesli. So I should try a bit in the muesli as well. Mm. Certainly, certainly you could. But I'm going to try it with a little bit of peanut butter. This is one thing you find 
with British ORPs. They will randomly put an item like peanut butter in the pack with no bread, no crackers, no jam. So you just get peanut butter. The only thing I can think of eating it with is this cookie, this oat um, oatmeal cookie. Good quality, smooth, goes well on the sweet biscuit. So I did the right thing. Obviously you could just eat it as an energy boost, suck it straight out of the pack. Good taste of peanuts, but it does go well. Mm -hmm. it does go well on the oat biscuit. Good quality, peanut butter. Need to refresh my palate. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we'll take a look at this V6 Strong Mint Dental Gum. Two briquettes, one still in the packet. Very a little soft now from its age. The shell is not as crispy as I usually experience, but still has lots of oils. Lots of favours, certainly still a good mouth cleanser and is more than capable of taking away any residue from the breakfast. So, overall, with a little bit of imagination, a bit of mixing of this and that, it did actually become a very enjoyable tasty breakfast. On its own, the music was a little bit bland, but with by adding a few extras, it did pep it up. So, join me for the next video where I look at the lunch and dinner components but for now thanks for watching please like share subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon so thank you and goodbye